good day and welcome to our Monday devotion. We're still on the book of Proverbs, so the title of our devotion is Through the Bible, Proverbs Part 8, and subtitled Gossip, a Dangerous Sin that Bears Bad News. So today is going to be a good topic. Join me in prayer as we come to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, once again, we come to you in prayer. And for this very important subject, Lord God, we ask that you would not only give us understanding, but Lord God, that you will help us, Lord God, to control our mouths, Lord God, so that only good words, Lord God, that will build up, Lord God, and edify will come forth from our mouths, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity, Lord God, that you have given us to be able to learn from your word, Lord God. Holy Spirit, teach us. Holy Spirit, enable us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So again, through the Bible, Proverbs part 8, titled, Gossip, a Dangerous Sin that Bears Bad News. Let's begin. Proverbs 26, 20 to 22 from the Good News Translation says, Without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, quarreling stops. Charcoal keeps the ember glowing. Wood keeps the fire burning. And troublemakers keep arguments alive. Gossip is so tasty how we love to swallow it. Let me read that again. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, quarreling stops. Charcoal keeps the ember glowing. Wood keeps the fire burning. And troublemakers keep arguments alive. Gossip is so tasty, how we love to swallow it. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 20 to verse 22. So let's begin reading the devotion. It says here, you do not want to be a gossiper. There is no goodness in it. The Bible la labels gossip as meddlesome and dangerous. Just as wood fuels a fire, gossip fuels quarrels. However, we may fall into the temptation of gossip. Gossip can provide a short burst of guilty pleasure. Proverbs 26, 22 likens the words of gossip to tasty treats that promise to delight those who indulge. But we must beware. Gossip is not just hard to resist. It is hard to define. So it says here, gossip can provide a short burst of guilty pleasure. Kasi minsan, pag nagkukwento tayo, parang ang sarap-sarap magkwento ng storya ng buhay ng ibang tao. Kasi madalas, o nangyayari sa atin, habang tayo nagkukwento ng storya na hindi maganda sa buhay ng ibang tao, parang nabibuild up natin ang sarili natin. So may konting pleasure sa pag-gossip. But it is a guilty pleasure and it's not good. Let's continue reading. Gossip is the opposite of the gospel. The sin of gossip is bearing bad news behind someone's back with a bad heart. So gossip is the opposite of the gospel because the gospel is good news when gossip is bad news. The sin of gossip is bearing bad news behind someone's back with a bad heart. So, nagsasalita ka sa likod ng tao, ang intention mo ay masama. This bad news, often stories of someone else's shame, could be false too. So, we are never in any position to circulate or comment. This bad news which flows from our mouths sometimes come from the insecurities of our heart, speaking badly about others as a way of making others feel good about us. But thankfully, Christ secures and empowers us to speak edifying words that give grace to the listeners and turn away from gossip. It says here that gossip is our stories of someone else's shame. And sometimes those stories could be false. And we are never in any position to circulate or comment. Never in the position to circulate any news about a person or comment about it. Because I was just sharing with someone recently about gossip. No? 
All it takes is just one twist of a word, insert one different word, and the whole story changes. And when it goes from one person to the other to another, by the time it gets to the fourth, fifth, tenth person, it is a whole different story. And it became worse. And so that's why gossip is so bad. This bad news which flows from our mouths sometimes comes from the insecurities of our heart. Normally a person that gossips about other people is insecure in their own heart because what they are actually doing is looking for um, approval. They're looking for people to approve them. And so they think that by talking about other people's uh, flaws or negative things, they think that that is a way of gaining approval. And so, yan ang ginagawa nila. But hindi tama yun. We should never gossip. Then it goes on to say, this uh, devotion goes on to say, but thankfully, Christ secures and empowers us to speak edifying words that give grace to the listeners and turn away from gossip. So God does give us the power to be able to, um, you know, speak good and not speak badly. He gives us the grace. He empowers us to speak words that edify, words that build up and gives grace to the listener. He gives us the power and the ability to turn away from gossip. The Bible says that, you know, the most difficult thing to tame is the tongue. But yet it is tameable through the power of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 4.29 says, Don't use foul or abuse language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. So don't use foul long language or abusive language. Let everything, everything, let everything you say be good and helpful. So if it's not good, if it's not helpful, don't speak it. We can bear good news instead, speaking and listening out of a transformed heart that loves God and people. The prayer here today is, Father, thank you for the stern reminder that we have to give an account for every careless word we have spoken. Help us to bear good news that gives life and not bear bad news that takes life. In Jesus' name, amen. So the prayer here is, Lord, give us, remind us that uh, you know, we should not speak evil or negative about a person. It says here to, to uh, help us not to speak bad news but that, that takes away life, but to speak good news that gives life. In Proverbs 24, verse 1 to verse 2, we'll read three scriptures here today. It says, Don't envy people or desire their company, for their hearts plot violence and their words always stir up trouble. So the words of, of evil people don't, don't desire their company. Their words always stir up trouble. Gossip always stirs up trouble. Proverbs 25, 23 says, As surely as a north wind brings rain, so a gossiping tongue causes anger. Surely as the north wind brings rain, surely also a gossiping tongue causes anger. Proverbs 26, 20 says, Fire goes out with wood, and quarrels disappear when gossip stops. So talagang, ano, gossip is really, is really an, is an evil thing that you and I need to be aware of. You and I need to stop. You and I need to not only stop speaking words of gossip, but also to stop listening to gossip. Because if we are a listener and allow people to continue gossiping about other people, we are part of that sin. We may not be speaking, but to continue to listen to it is sin as well. You know, the sad thing about uh, gossip, this is what normally happens. Someone will tell you a story and say, you know what, I, I, I heard something about someone. I'm just going to tell you, you know, uh, don't tell anyone else. 
And so what happens is, sige, hindi ko nasasabihin kahit kanino. Just share it with me. After that, after the person hears it, ang gagawin niya, sasabihin niya din sa isa pang tao, sasabihin niya, ah, kapatid, wag mo isi-share kahit kanino. Ha? Sinabi sa akin kasi, wag isi-share kahit kanino. So wag mo isi-share kahit kanino. Ha? Atin, atin lang to. Mamiya, yung tao niyan, he'll just take it to another person and just keep spreading and spreading and spreading with just a change of one word, one inserted word, just a twist of a word. Everything changes. The whole story changes. It, it goes from bad to worse and that's why gossip is so dangerous gossip is so evil because it destroys lives it takes away life so please brothers and sisters in Christ take this um, devotion seriously I pray that you know many of many will listen to this to this devotion and learn from it and will grow in a manner that they will, we will begin to speak words that are only glorifying unto God. If what you say is not good, don't say it anymore. Amen. So God bless you. Have a great week. And remember, you know, don't gossip, but always speak good things. Join me in prayer as we close. Thank you, Father. Father, once again, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your word that always reminds us, Lord God, of those things, Lord God, such as gossip that we should avoid and not do. We ask, Lord God, that you would empower us. We ask, Lord God, that you would rebuke us, Lord God, every time, Lord God, that we would even begin to speak gossip, Lord God, and help us, Lord God, to only speak words that are glorifying unto you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. So once again, have a great week and God bless you.